Hey everyone, Colleen here. Uh, I am sitting down to start a commission for the Museum of Cartoon Art. This should have been done ages and ages ago, and I'm just now getting around to it because I actually met my quota for the day. And I'm going to try something a little different this evening. I'm going to be working with Fusain's Liquid Charcoal. I like this stuff a lot. Uh, I haven't seen many other people using it yet, but I think it's a wonderful, versatile medium. And I started using it in part because, frankly, I hate using charcoal. I've been taking some uh, painting lessons and whatnot, and, and all of the instructors uh, use charcoal sticks, and uh, I find that super annoying and time-consuming. It's incredibly messy, and uh, I, I never really liked using charcoal, and I always thought, you know, why don't you do your your demos in, uh, in watercolor paint or something? Wouldn't it go faster? And I sat down with some of this charcoal, and I found that I was able to do my um, my comps very, very quickly with this stuff. And I liked the versatility of it. It gave me uh, a wide range, uh, a wide tonal range. I was able to do my tonal comps with it. Uh, it gave me uh, cool effects on rougher paper. And I was able to use it on some papers in a way that other stuff just would not work. I'm working on a Fabriano Artistico paper right now. I'm not sure how this is going to work on this paper. In general, I work on a um, a cotton linen paper. I, I got to pull this out and show you what I've been using this on. You can get a look at some of my previous pieces with it. Hold on a sec. Let me let me just finish this a little bit and set this aside for a minute. It goes on at this point. I'm sorry, my, my camera is not catching a whole picture at the moment. It goes on at this point a, a bit like ink, but it's really thick. And you can pull a lot of effects out of it. You can see I can get some... get some tones out of it right here. And the great thing about this stuff is it lifts really well. If I were doing this in watercolor, I would not be able to lift this up like this as well. You know, a Payne's Gray or uh, some other highly staining color that I might be tempted to use for my tonal comps is just not going to lift the way I want it. But I can lift this stuff pretty well even after it's dried. And another great thing about it is after it's dry, unlike normal charcoal, it doesn't smear very much. It just takes to the paper. I can smear it if I rub, rub it fairly hard with my fingers, but for the most part it stays put, which I love. And uh, that means unlike regular charcoal, I'm sitting here trying to look at some Hobbes reference while I'm doing this and talking to you, so this is a little tricky. Uh, make him nice and smiley. Nice and smiley. So this stuff will lift, it will stay put. You know, if with regular chuckle, I'd have to spray the heck out of this stuff. But, uh, with this, I don't really do very much. I just sort of let it sit. Anyway, what's going on at the top of his head? I think that's a little... That should be... I need some of that. Okay. Um, here's his big old Hobbsy shoulder. Whoops. Too goopy. And let me see if I can get down here. I'm going to do a little boy. I'm not going to do Calvin 
like let me see how I'm gonna do this. Like the one in the strip. I'm gonna make Calvin a real boy. Let me see what I can get out of this. I'm just using water with this stuff. It really, really blends well. You see it right there? It just it just picks right up and I'm able to get in there and do what I want with the tones and not have to struggle too much. And you see how nicely it lifts right there. Got me a nice little boy right here. I'm trying to and this will lift even after I've let it dry, but it won't smear badly the way it would if it were regular charcoal. I'm sure I said that already, but I'm thrilled with the properties of this stuff. I'm really glad I started using it. I'm going to pause on this for a minute. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this kid's hair. I want it to look like the Calvin in the strip, only I want it to be a real boy. Let's see how well I can do with this. We have me somewhere with that. That's cute. Oh, uh, let's see. Ooh, nice tigery whiskers there. It's a little tricky working at this angle. I've got a big old camera under my nose. Look how well that blends. I mean, after I've laid it down, after it's dried a bit, and I can still lift it right back up. I'd like that transition there to be smoother, but maybe I'll just wet my brush a little bit and look how well it just picks right up. I'm just going to take a little break from this and show you why I started using this stuff uh, seriously. I was given this amazing sketchbook by my family. It, I think they call it, let me see if I can get my camera on it, the Chakra Sketchbook. It's enormous. You can find this on Amazon. It is big and beautiful and full of this wonderful paper that is made of cotton and linen. Unfortunately, well, it's beautiful handmade paper and it's, it's huge. I think there's about 144 pages of this stuff in here. And I tested it. It's acid free. It's got a great texture. There's a lot of artifacts in the paper. That is, there's little nubby bits in the paper and it looks cool. Like I said, great texture, yada, yada, yada. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem as if the paper is sized. There's, there's nothing in it to keep everything you do from bleeding and that right away. So I decided to try the liquid charcoal on this and I was immediately able to get some nice effects and handsome sketches out of it. The, the charcoal really loves loves this paper. I actually like this paper better than the paper I'm using right now. The texture uh, uh, is really appealing and this paper I think is a hot press 
Fabriano's, so it's a little, it's it's got less character on every line, so I'm not loving that too much. But um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get something nice out of this, and the museum will be able to make a few dollars on this piece. And I might decide to uh, go ahead and do a color version of this. I, I have, I'm not sure what I have to do. Um, charcoal, as you know, is going to pick up and uh, pull up when you try to paint over it. However, uh, Daniel Smith has a, a wonderful uh, transparent charcoal ground that I've been using off and on. I, I, it does change the nature of your watercolor somewhat. It uh, makes it a little chalkier. Uh, it's not quite so um, it's not quite so watercolor-ish. It comes out more like gouache, but But if I were to uh, just let this sit and dry, and then tomorrow, say, uh, cover this with the watercolor ground, it would seal it, and then I would wait another 24 hours or so, and I would be able to paint over this in watercolor without fear of messing up the charcoal underneath. It's, it's pretty cool stuff. I've used it several times on uh, a few different... Uh, pieces. Uh, it's better, it's better than, uh, better than taking your chances and trying to paint over some of your stuff and then watching your drawing get ruined and the graphite or the pencil or whatever muddy up your colors, but, uh, it's not ideal, but it's, like I said, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty good stuff. Uh, it's a good compromise when you're trying to paint over something and the alternative is to just turn it to mud. And like I said, this look how this just picks up and can be manipulated very, very easily. And this is a lot neater than uh, <laughs> regular charcoal. I mean, I my hands would be a disaster area at this moment if I were using regular charcoal. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the shadows. Look how well that just changes. So I can go in here and pretty much re redo everything I've set down if I want to. I can move eyes up or down or uh, change the shape of a jawline and I don't have to worry about the staining property of, of the watercolor. If I were using watercolor I would just be creating a big old mess right now but I can get what I want with this charcoal. This is going pretty quickly. Let's see, I don't even know how many stripes old Hobbs has and where they start. Here's a big old stripe. Here, I'll put one here. I think I've made Hobbs' head too low. <laughs> The space between his forehead and his cranium is too low. Well, let me see if I can move that up. That'll be a real challenge for the properties of this medium. Let's see if I can modify that. Like I said, I'm just using water. And by the way, if you use water or other solvents in your studio for the safety of your studio. Get one of these. This is a locking jar and all I have to do is 
press this down and this locks and as you can see nothing comes out oh this is you know mm. so if you have a cat or, or a dog or a small child uh, you can lock up your brush water or your solvents and you don't have to worry about uh, the kids getting into your stuff and maybe getting sick that would be bad yeah this is way too low I need to move this up so I'm going to move that up and look at how it just let me move it. look at that yeah yeah this whole area is too low. look how that just pulls right up for me I mean that is amazing and I can go in and rethink how I've done this section of the piece even in these areas where I've used a really big dark section of the liquid charcoal and I'm just moving the whole area right up and changing the shape of the cranium no problem yeah that, that that's much better this needs to be way way up here I think that softness up there looks better too well let me see this ear is wrong this is what happens when you fly without a net with your drawings just kind of lay something onto the board and hope it works and it doesn't always work but if you're using something like this you can change it practically like using an eraser I have used erasers on this stuff um, for example here's a electric eraser I'll give them a highlight it's actually easier to just use the use water <laughs> but if you want this does work I, like I said I prefer to just use water oh, I do like this soft look on this oh boy I'm tempted to leave it soft like that that's sweet I don't like this though move that in I have never drawn these characters in my life I don't even know how accurate this is I've got a couple little pictures of Calvin over here let me brow is way up here yeah that's better it needs to be higher okay where's his brow let me see that's cute it's a nice expression he looks sweet I liked my first expression on here. If I mumble into the camera. Almost looks like Sumie working with this stuff. What am I gonna do with your ear? What am I gonna do with that ear? I kinda like that up here. I think you can see how malleable this medium is and what kind of effects you can get out of it. Um, I'm not loving this line right here. Let's move that over. You can see it just practically goes right down to white paper and it just disappears, man. I think his eyes could be a little taller. That's 
How am I going to work this smile? How does he smile? I do like the softness. I think I'm going to soften all the lines here. I like that better than the hard line I was using before. I think that's more interesting. I think I'm going to leave that. Don't just want to imitate Waters and stuff. I mean, if you want his stuff, you can go get it. It does lift a bit when you add more down. And as you can see, I'm just using this old palette. This is um, like eh, old palette. This is intended for oil paint, but I never use it. <laughs> So uh, I just thought I'd use it for stuff like this. And the great thing about it is it washes out completely, it leaves no mark whatsoever. I just wash it down the sink with water. It's super easy. I'm going to soften up all these lines. I like it that way. It's amazing how malleable this stuff is. You can really just lay it down and pull it right back up. Wipe it out a bit if you like. Voila. I'm going to handle that. I don't know what's, what goes here. I'm going to go back in, deepen the earth. It is too far over. I switched to a larger brush. That, that brush was weenie.
No, this is really hopefully dull for you. I'm not really saying very much because I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. I'm not <laughs> never drawn in this style before, so it's always a challenge to pick up somebody else's style and just go with it and while at the same time not really wanting to work directly in their style because I don't think there's any point in buying tribute art if it looks exactly like the original material. I think you should bring something else to it. Yeah, I like this with the softer lines better. I think the heavier lines should be reserved to a few details and the softer stuff should Give it that dreamlike quality that I think they want to have. I'm not super keen on this. It's too much. That's how it goes. <laughs> There's some. Hey there, Hobbs. As you may have guessed, I didn't really plan this. I just wanted to sit down and get this puppy done. Give myself a little bit of a challenge with the medium. Probably would have been a lot easier in ink. I'm going to get this camera down towards the bottom here. Yay, earthquake. Yeah, if you haven't tried liquid charcoal, I really do recommend it. I think it's a wonderful medium. And I'm going to cut this video a little bit short because uh, we're running out of data on our data plan. <laughs> We're living in the modern age out here. And um, there's probably about a half hour left in this sketch anyway. And I will post the finished version so you can see where I went with this. Yeah, it's finally getting somewhere. I wasn't too confident about it earlier. But Watterson's line is so eccentric, and mine is usually so controlled when it comes to ink anyway. And so I'm so here I am working in this medium that is not ink, but probably kind of looks like it on screen. But it ain't. And I do like it. And I love the effects it gives me, so I gotta recommend this stuff. It's it's a little pricey, but um, I can't remember what the price was, but I do remember going, you know, that's, that's a little pricey. But the fact is, I can't get um, I can't get anything else to work as well on that linen cotton paper I just showed you in my sketchbook 
as this stuff. I absolutely love it, and I'm regretting not doing this piece here on um, rougher paper because I think the lines would have had a lot more, everything about it would have had a lot more character if I'd used rougher paper, but I didn't. I'm using the smooth paper. This kind, this kind of paper I like for my watercolor paintings. I can get beautiful, clean gradations out of them. And of course, I can get that on here a bit. For this, I would have preferred more character. It's okay, though. It's okay, and I hope the museum can make a few bucks on it. And I'll used the finished version. Sam. It's almost finished now, actually. I'm not going to do that much more with this piece. Because I am so far behind schedule, I may never catch up. And I've got editors who are probably going, why isn't she drawing her stuff for us? I'm like, okay, editors, I have promised I will finish your stuff, but I made a promise for this charity too, so please indulge me a little bit. I think we all have to do our part and this is a bit of mine, but I'm not gonna Spend a couple of days on it because I just I just don't have the time. I've, I've got so many commissions behind me, eight ball, and uh, had a wonderful case of the flu in December and January, and I'm still coughing and hacking a little bit. Yeah, I'm not contagious or anything. I'm just not entirely where I want to be. I hear that the Coughing and hacking can last about eight weeks. I, I, I did say the other day that I, I'd stop coughing, but that's not entirely true. I'm still a little post nasal, a little bit of post nasal drip. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to exaggerate there. A little bit of post nasal drip, which is irritating, but not, you know, it's not the end of the world. But Love how this just lets you push that charcoal all over the place and get these really nice smoky effects. Spumato. My only worry is that this is going to make it look like Hobbes is choking the life out of Cal. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. <laughs> oh, do, 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 do. Let's see how we're doing with this. This is starting to get some depth. I'm going to fiddle with this some more and try to look at it from different angles and see how I'm going. I think this part over here needs work. Let's, let me see if I can move that over and fix that. Yes, I can. Yay! Like I said, this stuff is amazing. Wonderful ability to fiddle with it and change your mind and do other things. I don't know how long I've spent on this. Maybe about a half hour? Yeah, about a half hour. That's not too bad. Uh, like I said, this is almost finished. Not quite finished. I think I'd like to maybe sit on it overnight and come back to it tomorrow, but it's a nice chance to give you guys a look at this medium, which I'm using more and more of lately. That is so not right right there. Right there. 
But if I wanted to watercolor this, what I would do, I, I might, I haven't decided. I, I don't think I will. I need to leave this the way it is. Uh, if I wanted to watercolor this, yeah, a half hour is not too bad for this, is it? I guess. All right, whatever. Um, if I wanted to watercolor this, what I would do is I would spray this with a fixative, a workable fixative. And then I would let that dry and probably spray it maybe one or two times. Whoops, that is my vaporizer <laughs> telling me it's out of water. I don't know if you could hear that, but yes, my vaporizer is hissing at me saying, please give us water. So I'm going to have to wrap this up and move over and do something like this. Yeah, this isn't bad for a half hour. Like I said, I'm going to sit on this and fiddle with it tomorrow and uh, then I'll post the, the final version. And I am really low on my data allowance. Our, our data allowance actually runs from portion of the month to portion of the month instead of beginning to end of the month. So uh, I won't get a reset for a few more days. No YouTube for me. But uh, anyway. Love it. Fusains liquid charcoal. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, I'm going to probably put another half hour into this uh, tomorrow. Uh, I may or may not film that. I've got to get to work and make my other editors happy. I'm sticking to my promise to only work on commissions when I've uh, exceeded my quota, my work quota for a day. So uh, that hasn't happened very often, but it did happen today. So I got a half hour to work on this commission. It's turning out pretty cute. Uh, I would have liked to have done something more generous for the museum, but um, uh, this is not too bad. I think I think it's going to be okay when it's done. And I hope you'll try this this liquid charcoal. I really like this stuff. Uh, and uh, I was not paid to endorse it. I was not given any kickbacks or anything. If I do have a, a link uh, down beneath my post to Amazon, yeah, I do. I am an Amazon affiliate, but <laughs> uh, believe me, I don't make enough money on those to, to lie to you about what works and what doesn't <laughs> get about, I don't know, 50 cents if somebody orders something. I, I don't even think I get that much, but, uh, but I'm not full in there. I like the stuff and I think you can see what a cool product it is. Uh, but instead of using this on a smooth paper, I'm going to next time opt for something rough with a lot of character because the smoothness is sort of dragging me down. This is Fabriano Artesco watercolor paper. This is Fusain's Liquid Charcoal. This is Colleen Doran. This is Calvin and Hobbes. And this is a benefit for the Museum of Cartoon Art in San Francisco. Support your museum. And I'll let you guys know about the uh, auction when it comes around. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And maybe you'll uh, decide to give liquid charcoal a try. Oops, I just goofed that. I guess I'll be fixing that before I stop. Um, but th I like this stuff. I really do. And I think you'll like it too. Uh, if we're doing um, value studies, two thumbs way up especially. They take me a fraction of the time that uh, using normal charcoal or watercolor would take because as you can see I have so many ways to edit my picture while I'm working on it. Just stuff just lips right up and plops right back down. Um, give it a shot. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.